Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see building a blockchain in Go. So we will be using a very simple example to see how to build a blockchain can be done. Package me. So I'm using type struct block struct hash call it byte. Um, then we can have um, data byte Oops. byte. Then we can call a leave hash byte. Okay. Now let's create a chain for this. So we can call type blockchain. blocks block now we have uh, a block and chain but there is a problem we can't really do anything with just this it needs some functionality let's see what a functionality function Enter. Call it derive hash. In flow, we can say two bytes dot join. B dot brief hash. That's what we need here. Brief hash. Byte. So this what this will do is this will join our previous blocks with the new blocks. And then we can say hash. 256 dot sum 256 info this performs the actual hashing algorithm dot hash equals to So I'm using uh, Visual Studio and it by default imports everything. So I'll, you guys should use, uh, you know, you guys can use any ID, but I'll prefer that you guys to use Visual Studio. To hash our data, the next step is to use the hashing capabilities. Let's see. Function create block data string. Come on give hash give hash byte block Byte and data. Come on. Prefetch.
block dot derive derive hash i can say return hash return block so we have we, now we can create all the blocks let's see block chain to tie everything together see function So we have pre hash. Sorry, now we have pre block. Hash is already used, so now it's a block. Chain dot blocks. Chain dot blocks. Minus one. create block data comma have a pre block dot hash chain dot blocks equals to append chain dot blocks comma new ability of uh, so with the ability to add block to the chain we can start wrapping up here but there is one catch that so we can name function new chain or we can call it as um, genius that was the first block chain so let's name that all right then create block genius let's have function initiate block blockchain blockchain we can call it as a return blockchain block genius now we can go to the main function So chain initiate blockchain chain dot add block. You can say first block. After genius. We can copy this. Call it as second. Third. Now we can have four block equals to we can give a range chain box now we can have a print statement print function previous hash Um, 
comma what we need block dot prefash same thing I can just copy paste and change that to data or oh, since that was a recent data right uh, data and prefash yeah. so data data and we can call it as data and uh, since this is a string so we have this as we can have this as a hash and we can call it as brief hash okay now let's run this go run me.com Okay, we have an error. Ah, oh, okay. We run this again. So, if you see, is that you know the first genius block does not have a previous hash, which is why we need that special functionality. I hope you liked my video. If you have any questions or come, please put that in the comment. And if you have any suggestion for a video, do let me know. Thank you for watching my video.